Okay, I guess this is why you don't want to try to record in your car on a hot summer day in a hot state when your AC doesn't work all that well because your phone might overheat and then you have to start all over again. So anyways, on a um, popular, I guess you could say maybe viral Facebook post that had to do with the meme... There was a, um, somebody shared a screenshot of a quote that went something along the lines of White privilege doesn't mean that your life isn't going to be rough. It just means that your skin color is not a factor in it. Not exactly word for word, but in regards to that, if somebody would have shared that with me and put it in that particular way, along with many others out there, if they would have shared it with us a long time ago, you probably would have reached us, or at least made us think twice, a long time ago. But I think there's many different facets to it when it comes to the whole picture. For example, you could have somebody who is either a black man or in some way a person of color now, I know there are those of you out there who would be offended by either one of those terms. And I don't mean any disrespect to anybody who comes across this video. It's just that, whatever way you look at it, I don't think that changing the wording of it really resolves an issue. But you could have somebody who's not exactly white, for lack of a better term, who doesn't believe in white privilege. Um, either because they've been able to make something of themselves or pursue something that they've wanted and really hasn't had much trouble in life or at least they've been able to overcome it without having what would be considered a victim mentality while then again there are plenty of others who would disagree with that sentiment that white privilege doesn't exist because there are those who I'm not going to beat around the bush with what I'm about to say next, but yeah, there are those who probably do have to deal with unfair prejudice because of the way they look automatically, but to a large extent bring persecution or just disliking or trouble upon themselves, either just because of the way they present themselves to other people, the way that they behave, or the way they conduct themselves. But then you also have those who are very delightful people or are overall good people um, who may not look the same way I do per se, like somebody in particular that I know of who doesn't look as white as me even though she's 100% of European ethnicity who's had to deal with a lot of mistreatment and racial hostility towards her probably the majority of her life and she's close to about my age, a few years younger, I'm 40, and um, she's had to deal with a lot. And that was an eye-opener to me because she's the last person, one of the last people that I would have expected to have to deal with such a thing. She even has served our country in the military and continues to do so. And... Not every region of every country or every city or every company or every police jurisdiction or every police officer or every person you encounter, every culture, every, every individual, every situation in this world that we live in is exactly the same. And I think that racism or prejudice can come from anybody, not just white people. And I think that good can come from anybody. Now, what I'm talking about here, that quote that was shared, that viral Facebook meme, it had to do with Martin Luther King Jr.'s face being plastered on some white guy's body where he was, like, pointing at some, like, marker board or whatever it was where it said something along the lines of, if you consider somebody to be privileged because they're white, then you yourself are being racist. Now, before you go completely agreeing with that, because I did at first, I even liked that post, there are others who brought up some good points that there's being there's a difference between 
being racially prejudiced or against somebody because of their quote unquote race versus pointing out a pattern or a problem that exists or persists. That's a good point. On the flip side, I think there is some truth to the meme in terms of how you look at people. If you're so focused on race or wanting to say that there's some type of default attribute attached to every single person of any given race, that too in a sense is being racist, if that makes any sense. So I think that there's more than one side to that whole thing. Now, for those of you who are people of faith or who believe in Jesus, I suppose in our complicated, imperfect, stupid, especially now hostile or crazy world that we live in, I suppose the antidote to all of it would be just look to Jesus in all things and at least let him transform your life in that particular way and just the way that you look at people. Because if everybody in the world did that, we wouldn't have a perfect world, but it sure would be a lot better, at least in terms of there not being the problems that we have today in regards to race-related things amongst people. And I suppose I could be comfortable or arrogant and say, like, well, I don't need to be an activist. I can just take the stance of, if you want to fight racism, start with yourself, and then just say, well, too bad everybody individually couldn't just do that, because then we wouldn't need all these organizations or any of these movements that try to counter it and it's not to mention there are many that might be well-intentioned but are ill-informed or are just going about it in a race racially ra related way or they have their own bias and we live in a fallen imperfect world but yeah, I could get comfortable and say such a thing. But then again, as somebody who might be a saved, born-again Christian, that's another thing that I've kind of covered in a different video. There still is Proverbs chapter 30, I believe it is, that I still need, do need to consider that talks about speaking up for those who are destitute, who are victimized, who can't speak up for themselves. Um, those who do need somebody to stand for them in whatever the context of the, the script, those scriptures are, that's something that I can go to and let God lead me how he will in that regards. Because I could be arrogant and get comfortable in my own stances, but who am I? I'm just one other person. But going back to the original thing I mentioned in regards to that quote and white privilege meaning your skin color has nothing to do with any hardships you've faced, well in regards to myself, I'd say for the most part at least that is probably true. So in a sense maybe I do have privilege. What am I to do about it? Again, keep my focus where it needs to be and keep reading that which I need to keep reading and let God lead me. But I still think that it's a lot more complicated than a lot of people have a tendency to think. Thanks for watching.